I always wanted to be the famous detective when I was younger, but like anything, I got a little older and those dreams became a time of the past. Or did they? The character that is Sherlock Holmes was inspired by Dr. Joseph Bell, a medical school professor. Holmes's exceptional observation skills were derived from Bell's methods of diagnosing patients with cancer, like breast cancer. Breast cancer is still one of the most deadliest and invasive cancers in women worldwide, where obesity is a major risk factor. In order to improve patient outcomes, we need to better understand how the obese state affects the spread of breast cancer. Just like Holmes may investigate the scene of a crime to gather all the evidence, we turn to study the tumor to get the whole picture. A tumor is not just composed of cancer cells. It's composed of other cell types, like fat cells, as well as a mesh network that supports and surrounds cells. Taking a closer look, a group of researchers found that fat cells in the presence of this mesh network enhance the spreading potential of breast cancer cells from the breast to the rest of the body. Yet still, how are fat cells doing this? So I put on my detective hat. It was plausible that fat cells were releasing something that breast cancer cells were then using to help them spread. In my lab, we identified that something to be a protein called lysyl oxidase, or LOX for short. Using a new and improved system, we cultured LOX with breast cancer cells in a dish. We then looked at the structural changes of breast cancer cells. Why? Well, as breast cancer spreads, the cells undergo a migration to tumor formation transition. As they migrate away from the breast, they acquire an elongated shape to easily navigate and invade neighboring tissue. But once they reach that new tumor site, like the bone, they transform to a more square, compact shape to form new tumors. Indeed, we found that LOX promotes this more compact shape, suggesting that this fat-derived protein may help breast cancer spread by assisting in new tumor formation. As the detective may say, elementary, my dear Griffins, elementary. So I may be more like Sherlock Holmes than I initially thought. I followed the trail of footprints that led me to LOX as the cancer spreader. But Holmes would not stop me in investigation and neither will I. I am to further categorize whether LOX and blocking the activity of LOX will prevent the spread of cancer. Thank you.